little one. This is your first day. Your designation will be RP-01-138. We expect great things from you. You have been born into dangerous times. A sharp mind can be the key to survival. But as often as not, it will be your inherent physical traits that win the day. And in this regard, you will be superior to your more common brethren. For you are a commander, an elite unit, something truly special. Your weapons, your armor, and most importantly, your brothers. The Ifer of our world hunt in pods to bring down much larger prey. So too shall you join the three brothers and become fierce hunters for the Republic. Now, join your pod and embrace your destiny as their leader. Join Delta Squad. Delta Foro. Your foundation, a pure and uncomplicated soldier. 6-2, the heart and soul of your team. And 07, the fiercest hunter of all your brothers. You are each a piece of a whole person. And the Republic will call you to defend and give your lives if need be. Hello everyone and welcome to Star Wars Republic Commando, one of my favorite games I've probably ever played. It is a, uh, it's a Star Wars game that was very unique in that it took, it took a lot of aspects from Halo. It was kind of like their answer to Halo 2, which was the Halo at the time. Ah, uh, I've played through this game so many times. Graphics are obviously a little dated, but it is, it is an older game, what can I say? This gunship just crashing in the distance. You gotta find the sun fact, dude. It's like a Geonosian. This is, of course, the beginning of the Clone Wars right now. We're on Geonosis. If anyone has watched... Uh, if anyone, of course. Most of you guys have probably watched Star Wars. Let's get in here. Well, rip. That guy is dead. Alright. Genosis. You don't actually have like an ADS or anything if I recall. Oh wait, there we go. You don't have a sprint though. You actually only... This is your sprint. You just walk. If you notice. A little back to things here will like regen your health. Yep. I just got destroyed. Yes, I can tell. As you see in the bottom, my health is at half HP. 
Let me use it. Come on. I would like to continue without hints because I have played this game before. I don't have any squad members yet. I have to find them over these first couple missions. Let's decimate these droids real quick. Well, I forgot how inaccurate the hit fire was. It's too bad the multiplayer for this game is impossible to play because I think they were run on GameSpy and GameSpy went under, so. Not to mention my sensitivity is actually ridiculously high. Oh, they just, they just blew up. That's cool. Wait, where's that Gin Ocean? Take him out before he destroys my buddies. You guys are just sitting up here. Stupid droids. Alright, follow this little marker here. Whoa, we got some crazy amount of gunfire going on. There's too many. Oh, where's my, um, yeah, here's my wrist knife. This thing's actually the best. <laughs> just walking through them all. Just giving them a good old, uh, knifing. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can actually just shoot that and it blows it all up. I used to actually constantly replay this segment over to try to save this guy. I'm pretty, like... If there's a way to do it, I don't know, but it is impossible. I've done this probably hundreds of times, and I could never save this poor trooper. <laughs> He's just dead. Uh, whoops. That's not the tunnel I'm supposed to go into. It's this one. The screen shakes so much in this level. Yes, that's right. I can win the war myself. Droids and bugs. Wrecked. Until I get the attachments for the, uh, what's it called? The gun? Because uh, how it works is this default rifle, you don't gain like, a sniper rifle pickup, a rocket launcher pickup or anything. They're actually attachments for this default rifle. I always like that aspect. And uh, I think you, you gain them mostly throughout this first, uh, first planet. Because there's three planets. There's Geonosis. There is, uh, what's it called? The spaceship, and then, well, Kashyyyk. Kind of spoilers, but not really. They're pretty common Star Wars <laughs> locations. A ship in space in Kashyyyk. So. Lob the grenades, yes. Oh, I missed. If you notice, like, this first level, it's pretty impossible to die. It's just a tutorial for the most part. Let's go underground and learn how to crouch. You know, if you press C, you can crouch under debris, guys. Sick tips. Alright, here comes my first buddy. Sup? And here, of course, is where you begin to learn to use squad commands. It was actually for its time. Really, uh, what's it called? Uh, I keep misclicking the, what's it called, grenade button for ADS. Because the, what's it called, grenade button is, for some reason, a right, ma right mouse click. When that's usually ADS. A. It was actually a pretty good uh, progression for squad-based shooters at the time. This game's really old now, but you you can like set your uh, what's it called buddies into certain combat stances. I believe, if I recall, it's like aggressive, defensive, like hunt people down on their own and stuff. You can tell them to take positions, sniper positions, grenade positions, and such. And actually, during the later levels, it gets pretty hard. Especially if you're on the highest difficulty, which I gotta make sure I'm on, of course. After this first couple missions. I'm out of ammo. Oh, well, I'll just use this. The pistol is infinite ammo. But it does have a pretty low rate of fire, and it does kind of overheat, as you can see. The little bar. My favorite thing, though, in this whole game has to be this. The little wrist knife you get. Oh my god. The thing is actually my favorite weapon. It's that stabbing fools. Did I get re-equipped? Uh, yeah, I did. I have ammo again. You cannot hack that terminal because it is not working. Squad health currently at maximum. I think this is where we find... This little section is where we find the uh, next squad member. Yep. He's on the other side of this door. Stupid droid, get out of here. See? Explosive. Oh! Oh no! Oh, I almost just team killed. 
when your squad members do go down, they can revive, or you can revive them, and when you go down, you can actually get your squad to revive you. You don't actually lose, I believe, until everyone is dead. Sup? He's just laying a choke down, a choke on this poor Geonosian. Hey, He's green, as you can see, and this guy is the tech guy. He hacks stuff. This guy, Scorch here, blows stuff up. Fixer has a fitting name in that he fixes or unfixes things. They're both pretty weak, actually. They're both yellow. I think, well, I did kind of throw a grenade at Scorch, so... Just, there, yeah, just give him a stab. You guys need health. Get some back to... Back to Simulator 2015. How do I, uh... Well, it'll probably tell me how to give the area th commands. I played this mostly on Xbox. But you can give an area command, and if you give an area command in this kind of circle, or near a back to thing, they'll all just automatically get back to, which is handy. Probably gonna look up the PC controls after these first couple levels. Because I mostly just played multiplayer. And in multiplayer, you just go run and shoot people. I wish the multiplayer was still, what's it called, alive though. I'm getting stabbed. I'm gonna die! Oh my god! What are you guys doing just hanging out back there? I almost died. I should go actually get health real quick. My attempts to stab that guy did not go well. Those Geonosians actually hit kinda hard. If only, if only there was sprint, but then again... Mm, probably wouldn't be too well, or go play too well. Just look at Halo ever since they added Sprint. Yikes. Not too good. How about you keep your fucking space pants on?